Yeah, good morning, Facebook family. Just want to do a follow-up on on my uh, where I'm sitting medically. As all of you know, I posted several postings of me being in the hospital last week, and I got to tell you, I'm I'm honored. I'm I'm I'm, I'm thankful for all the support that I got uh, because you know when when you're down and out. Uh, sometimes uh, not just him and not just medical, but a support system. That's that triangle of love and medical and God uh, gets you by. And, and I'm so thankful that I had all the support that, that I had gotten because it certainly has made a difference. Today, uh, I'm taking my last pill for of antibiotics. i got to get a hold of my doctor because she wants to see what my foot looks like. But I'm doing a lot better. So, hey, while well, I'm taking the time to Diane, Ka Coach Kaz, hope you're doing better, bro. And Donnie, uh, love you all, man. Send give my give a big hug to my nephew, okay? But look, uh, I I just want to do a little update here. <sighs> Over the years, forty two years to be exact, I've coached a lot of athletes, and I and I've shared a lot of lives. I've shared a lot of ups. I've shared a lot of downs. And uh, what keeps me going all these years is the fellowship. Uh, being part of people's lives and, and getting into it because I don't just coach, never have just coached. One, I never have coached for money. And two, I don't coach for uh, for the prestige of, of being the coach. I coach life. I coach the game of life. I always have and I always will. That being said, as you can see behind me, I, I put up some of my, my old uh, coaching stuff because Coach Chuck is going to ask a favor. I need a big favor. I have a few followers, and I think that some of you know, because I've been posting like crazy, a link to the next impactor. I am a competitor in the next impactor, and if you don't really know about it, you will, because the next impactor is going to be the next American Idol, uh, the next uh, America's Got Talent, uh, the next voice. And what it's all about is a group of entrepreneurs have gotten together and said, you know, what if people had a message? What if somebody had a message? And for me, I have many. Uh, domestic violence, alcohol, uh, child abuse, sexual abuse, dysfunctionality. All of these are wrapped up in a program that I have. Me, Inc. now, I think you're all aware of it. And, and it's tied into a promise that I made at three years old. That if God would allow me to get old, I'd make it right. Well, along the way... Uh, I've I've been into coaching. I got into coaching, and and it meant the world to me. And I've touched a lot of lives. I, you know, to see people playing, to see young men playing in in uh, the professional leagues uh, of football, to see uh, athletes that have gone on to play D one uh, sports is special. To see uh, athletes have, that have gone on uh, for uh, academically becoming something and we have some of our our members of our 2003 2004 2005 wilson football team that that are firefighters or policemen or lawyers we have one that's trying to become a doctor he actually got finally finally uh kyle got accepted in in, in medical school so you know, this is this is Coach Chuck. You all know me. You know me my entire life that, that you've been involved with me. And you know where I come from. You know I come from the heart. So this competition is allowing me to keep a promise that I made at a very young age. And it's given me a platform. The next impactor competition is about being able to tell your stories and reaching out to others that... that uh, are afraid to come out, that are afraid because people have told them for so many years, nobody wants to hear your story. Stay back, stay back, shut up. Nobody wants to hear you. We all have our own stories. Well, this competition is giving uh, other competitors like myself an opportunity to speak and, and, and have, has given us a platform, has given us an opportunity, has given us Look, it's going to be huge. I, I promise you, CBS, NBC, ABC, all of the affiliates are going to want to jump on this because it's special. It's not about talent. 
It's about sending messages, telling stories that affect other people that will allow them to relieve the poison that they have held within them for so many years. And it's time for that poison to be released. I learned a long time ago how to get rid of it. I release the poison every single day. Taking the time to do this video is releasing poison from me that I've had my entire life. Remember, my mother died on Mother's Day, 1979 at 44 years old from too much abuse and too much alcohol. And, and, and I want to reach out to uh, those other mothers that are still alive, that are struggling with this disease, that are, that are struggling to get out of the environment they're in. I want to send a message to them. And this competition has given me the opportunity, has given me the platform to do so. So I'm asking a favor of all of you that know me, of all of you that have, have been a part of my life and are still a part of my life, because we will always be family, always. I'm asking you to hashtag the next impactor and vote for me. All you have to do is go in there. And there's, a, there's a page that opens up and it has your name, first and last, your email address. It's nothing tied to you. It's just a way for them to, to, in modern technology now, you always have to have emails and stuff like that. But there's no sales pitch. There's no nothing. All you're doing is supporting Coach Chuck and Coach Chuck's cause because I believe it's time. I believe that that I'm in a, in a time in my life that and been given an opportunity to finally speak on a stage and talk about all the ugly that I've had in my life that I've overcome. And I want to help others overcome that. And this next impactor competition is going to allow me to do that. So, so again, not just if, to vote. For those of you that have been in a, in a cave or in a shell or, or behind a force field that you've, that you've held things inside, it's now time. More so than ever before, and I'm 63 years old, have we had an opportunity to speak out as a whole? And, and in today's society, we're doing that. Uh, we have a band of misfits, the Misfit Nation. Uh, hashtag Misfit Nation. Uh, 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 individuals that have gone through life and had things happen to them. Uh, that people look down upon them, have taken a stand, and, and we have come out very strong. We are raw, we are real, and we tell real life stories, not just to heal us, but to heal others. And so now is a time that I truly believe in this next impactor will do that, the next American Idol, but in a different way that we're allowing individuals to come out and tell their stories to be able to help others. So I would really seriously appreciate you all. Support Coach Chuck. If you really know where I've come from the, all these years, you really know where my heart is, support me, please, in this in this venture I'm in. And, and help me become the next impactor. There is a there is a very large marketing prize at the end for the winner. Uh, that will allow me to open up my centers, Me Inc. Now centers, one in Hawaii, one in Southern California, one in Northern California, and, and connect where we have workshops and stuff to help our youth of today come in and, and, and help them release the poison from within, uh, relieve the generational cycles of negativity that have been passed down upon them from their parents and their parents and their parents. You know, I, I forgave my stepdad many, many years ago. I, re, I when 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 I became an abuser, and I went and seeked help because I did uh, the trait, uh, the cycle was coming out. I went and seeked help, and that's when a psychologist told me that my stepdad was coming out in me. And when I finally realized that I had traits or cycles that were passed down upon me, I forgave my stepfather. I forgave him for all the ugly that he put upon my mother and me. I forgave him because he was just a he was a cycle. He was a victim of a cycle of generations that were passed down upon him as an abuser, as an alcoholic, uh, and, and I forgave him, and, and it cleansed me. It really helped me a lot. So, you know, uh, Coach Chuck babbles on, but I speak from my heart. I don't have any script in front of me. I don't have, I have my heart. 
And so, again, I, I'd really appreciate, I'm going to wave to all you, Sharon, Maureen, Derek, I'm going to wave to all of you, and, and, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on and, and, and hearing my message, hearing my story. And if we could spread that love, if we could spread that energy, if we could spread the positivity and take away negative within this world, oh, how much happier we would be. Uh, and so that being said, thank you so much. Again, hashtag the next impactor. Votes for Coach Chuck. Help me become the next impactor so I can truly uh, go on. A, <laughs> it's not about money. It's about me keeping a promise to my God that I made it three years old to allow me to get old. And he's done that. And he's allowed me to become a competitor in this competition, which, as far as I'm concerned, he's paving the way, continuing to pave the way for me to keep my promise. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. God bless every single one of you. And if you have an opportunity, hit that notification button, please. Uh, share this with somebody else. Please share. If, if if you have any value, if you see there's any value in this message, I seriously, seriously appreciate it. God is good every day. And I'm thankful for all of you uh, that send me love. Again, have a blessed day. As we say on the island, a hui ho kako. Until we meet again, aloha.